for the word. Okay, I got a few up in front. How many, let me ask the question, how many are ready for the word? Yeah. Amen. Okay, that's about half of you. Let me ask you one more time. How many are really, really ready for the word? Yeah. Amen. See, uh, we, we, the church we came out of, honey, when, they, when pastor would ask that, we would be screaming, right? We make y'all look, y'all about a, about a three, amen? Now, I know I've served the best church in the country, so I'm going to give you one more chance, amen? But I pass say, who wants the word? And we would yell, we want the word. Will we do it, honey? Yep. Amen? And you say, who wants the word? And we would say, we want the word. Now, let me tell you something about the word. The Bible says, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And it's something about getting an expectancy in your spirit for the word of God an expectancy for God to bring change in your life. Amen? And it comes with your confession. Amen? So I'm going to ask you again, who's ready for the word? Amen. Amen. Praise God. That's much better. Amen? We want the word. Amen? Bow your heads with me. Father, we just thank you right now. We thank you for your power and your presence. We thank you for your anointing. I thank you for every person that had to press their way out in this new year, God. I, 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 I bind every attack of the enemy off of marriages, off of singles, off of every area of their life, God. Heaviness and depression of any sort, I command it to go. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. It's, it's, it's some people you've been here and you've just been feeling heavy. You've moved in this new year and it's a new beginning, but yet you've been heavy. And you're like, God, I don't understand why I've been so heavy. I don't understand why I've been so weighted. Let me tell you something. God is getting ready to bring you into something deeper and better. We said 2015 is the number. 20 is the number for what? Redemption. We said 15 is the number for, in the Bible, for rest. God's getting ready to give you some redemptive rest. God's getting ready to pay you back for everything that you've done for him. Amen? You're going to have to just rest in him and rest on his promises and rest on his word and watch what he does. God's getting ready to show out in your life at a whole nother level. You have been laboring and you're about to re reap the fruit of your labor. Let me tell you something. It always gets darkest before day. Right when God is getting ready to break you through, the enemy always comes with a spirit of discouragement to make you fall and to doubt God. See, the number one thing that the enemy uses is doubt. It's doubt. Look, in the, look, the first temptation in the Bible, Garden of Eden. You got uh, the Adams family, Adam and Eve. Amen. I didn't say Adam and Steve. I didn't say Eve and Yvette. Man and woman. That was what? Marriage. That was what? Family. Doesn't matter what the, the Supreme Court says. That's what the Word of God says. Amen? Are y'all with me? Well, I'm liberal and I like this. Well, I stand on the Word of God. I'm liberal, but I'm, guess what? I'm conservative when it comes to the Word of God. Amen? The Bible says, let God be true and every man a what? Liar. Well, God made me this way. Well, then God made the adulterer an adulterer. Then God made the fornicator a fornicator. We all were born in sin, but we don't have to walk in sin. Are you with me? Some believe that the alcoholism gene runs in the family, runs in your DNA. Amen? Well, that would work for my family because I got a bunch of preachers and I got a bunch of alcoholics in, uh, um, in my bloodline. But guess what? When I got saved, I said, the curse stops here. Are y'all with me? It stops here. Amen? And so I began to renounce the works of darkness, of alcoholism over my seed, over my life first, and then over my seed and my seed seed as a single young man. Are you with me? Because I saw my legacy before I had a legacy. Are y'all with me? And so you got to declare and decree that the curse stops here. Amen? Amen. 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 We're talking about redemption, redeeming what God has for your life. Now, today I want to talk to you about breaking out of the status quo. Breaking out of the status quo. Breaking out of the status quo. You got to break out of the status quo. We got to stop waiting for revival and we got to become the revival that God wants us to be on the earth. Amen? And that comes from breaking out of the normal. I never forget when I went in business for myself. And at the time, it was a commission job. And I had so many people in my ear 
talking about, well, you know, you don't want to do commission. You want to get on a good corporate job and just get benefits. Get that retirement up. How many of those corporations don't care about you now? How many of those corporations will get bought out in two to, the average job in Atlanta lasts two to three years? Do you understand the people that were in love with you will drop you in a hot minute? Are, are y'all with me? Amen. You better have something. You better have some resources, some, some things that you're developing on the side and continually developing yourself. Amen. Getting self-enhancement. Amen. Treat yourself like you are a business. Are y'all with me? See, that's what we're doing with these vision statements and mission statements. You can a life, con- by the end of it, you're going to have a life constitution. Amen? And you're going to, see, see, you're breaking out of the status quo. And what it says, then let the re- revolution begin. Now, if, if you weren't here last week, you need to go back online. I don't have time today to do it. That was a powerful message. It came through me, but it was a powerful message. Amen? I didn't preach her anything in my notes. The, the Lord came in a whole different direction, and we talked about what it meant to be a revolutionary and breaking out the status quo. So this is part two, breaking out of the status quo. But I want to give you some practical application of some things that you can do and mindsets. We're going to look at a lot of scriptures today. Is that all right? Because yes. you got to be renewed in the spirit of your mind, the word of God says. It says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Last week we learned that we're not at the Reformation. We're not after being reformed. We're not looking, we're not out after being changed on the outside, but not changed on the inside. We want an inward change to occur. We want to be renewed on the inside so that the outside will come forth. Amen? Amen. But it starts in the heart. It starts in the heart. Let's look at this. Acts chapter 2. If you'll stand to your feet so we can read the word of God. This is an act of reverence. Amen. The Bible says you shall know the truth. You shall know the truth. You shall become intimately acquainted with the truth, and the truth will set you free. Amen? And I want to just read. Let's, are y'all ready to read? Let's read it together. And it shall come to pass in the last days, say of God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughter shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servant and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit. And they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath. Blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. Before the great and notable day of the Lord come, and it shall come to pass that whoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. You may be seated. Amen. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your understanding. Holy Spirit, Howard sits down. You stand up, O God. Show forth yourself real to us like only you can. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight. My strength, my redeemer. Amen. Amen. Let's look at this. And it shall come to pass in the last days. How many are we in the last days? The, the signs of the times are evident. Earthquakes, wars, rumors of wars. Don't even feel like, and here's the danger about being in wars. We're in war. We're not in one war. We're in wars. And you can't even feel it. But gas prices are getting better. But we're in war. See, that's the danger of being in a, in, in, in a and a society where that's just lulling us to sleep. People are in debt, but they give you credit so you won't feel like you're in debt. You're slaves. Slaves. You're a slave when you can't quit your job and survive. You can't even last a week. 98% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. Living beyond their means. We don't, as a generation, we don't know how to say no to things. Are y'all with me? Now, here's the thing. God's raising up a new generation. Hallelujah. Glory to God. A new generation of believers, amen, they are going to be independently wealthy. They're going to start getting these biblical principles in the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E, that's the book for me. Basic instructions before leaving earth. Getting this word of God in you and not just quoting it, but literally begin to live these principles that are on the inside. 
and become what God's called them to be. Amen? It shall come to pass in the last days, says God, I will pour out my spirit on some people. There should be more of y'all talking. I'm putting error up here. Amen. Let me say it again. I'll pour my spirit on some people. All flesh. I will pour my spirit just on the preachers. Just on the people that have ministries named after them. Oh, just on men, not women. I can't hear you, ladies. Oh, just on women, not men. All flesh. Yeah, I don't, I don't see God. I leave that to the women. The Bible says he's going to pour it out on what? All flesh. All flesh. All flesh. All means what? Everything. Yeah, I said it with the, the I said thing. I said thing. Everything. That'll go Georgia on you. Amen? Backwards, Georgia. Everything. Amen? And look, look, I'll pour my spirit on all foot. And what will happen? He's not going to leave anyway. He says, I got this next generation. I got these millennials. I got them. You worried about them. But guess what? Turn them over to me. Your sons and your daughters shall what? Shall what? I hear my